here I am in my workspace. In the evidence column, when I create a new card, I click on the plus sign. And I want to always make sure that I'm adding my tasks with the Google Drive button. I click that button, and then I can choose a file to add to my card. Let's say this is my drawing that I'd like to include. I grab it, I hit select, and now it's added to my card. I can give some brief instructions here and let my students know what they're supposed to do. One copy per student is going to make sure that each student gets their own copy of this document. I do not need to change the sharing settings on this document at all. It is ready to go. And when I click the done button, all students, when they click the start button, will just get a copy of this file. If, in, if instead I were to add something by using the link button, this is going to create all kinds of confusion because it's just going to open up the link to my Google Drive file. This is not the choice we want to make. So if you're trying to get the students to use something that's in your Google Drive, always use the Google Drive button. If I want to add a Jamboard, I'm going to also click the plus sign, click on Google Drive. I'm going to search the name of my Jamboard that I want students to have a copy of. I find it there in my list and I click select. I'm, so notice how I, it adds a link, but I added it from my Google Drive. It still says copy per student and I click done. Here I am in my student account. I've logged into the workspace and I can see that my teacher has now shared with me some work. Here's the Google Drawing assignment. And if I click Start, what Happera does is it makes a copy of that document. So now as a student, I have my own copy of my teacher's work that I can work inside. And here is my own copy. And I know it's my copy because it has my name at the top. If I go back to my workspace and I would like to work with this Jamboard, again, you'll see that link there. I click Start. And now again, you can see it says student work. That's the title that I made. And now my student's name is right there. So I know that this is my own copy that I can now work on and then submit to my teacher.